What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another ladder cast. We've got Mong in the top right hand corner, Soma in the bottom left. If you guys have been enjoying the cast, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you want to see Brood War live forever, go ahead and hit that like button as well. We've got a lot more of you guys signing on recently. I think a lot of that's due to the flash cast. But there is so much great Brood War out there. Uh, aside from just those flash replays that I have to cover, like this little series between Soma and Mong. Mong, one of my absolute favorite Terran players. This is not his best matchup. He is incredibly good at TVP. Has a really strong winning record in TVP in the ASL. But his TVZ is dismal. One of the worst records uh, out of all the players in uh, ASL history. It's something pathetic, like 30%. I actually can't remember off the top, but uh, he's going to have his work cut out for him here. Soma, back from the military, hasn't been looking as strong as his former self, but he's slowly powering up as we watch him. Just like Flash, who recently came back, uh, he is knocking off that rust and bringing himself back up to a strong level. Looking forward to see what he's got for us here, aside from this early pool. On Mong's side of the map, he's actually going into a refinery first, so will it be a mech play? Is it going to be 1-1-1, one, 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 two port wraith? We'll just have to watch and see. He's not actually set up for a wall at his ramp, so I think it's unlikely that we'll see a two port wraith play. Probably just a factory for some vultures to put the pressure and switch then into a command center. He's pulling off the SCVs already, so that's indeed what it's going to be. Uh, typically some sort of 1-1-1 into an expansion. Although, you know, Mong being Mong and not being that strong at TVP, uh, TVZ, he might be looking to do a mech play, like a, just a straight-up Goliath 2-factory, 3-factory Goliath play. Um, could even be going up into a higher number of factories. Sees the Lings coming in. He immediately starts a Marine. He didn't start one until just now. So he has almost nothing at this ramp. He's got one Marine here. He's going to pull the SCVs to the ramp. This is the right choice. How much damage can Soma put on this? Because with you know four Lings. Okay, he's only going to have three it looks like. Okay, the second Marine arrives. This is actually going to do not much at all. Uh, aside from just keeping the uh, SCVs off the mineral patches for a moment. Ooh, a machine shop immediately. Now, this could be for a number of things. It's most likely going to be for vulture speed. I think that's what we are in for in this game. Vulture speed with a run by can be very strong. I'm going to start the CC on high ground. And gets the full scout in the main base. He knows exactly what's coming here. You can see Soma scouting all around the map. Looking for a hidden factory somewhere out there. But it's actually up here in the main base. There's the first vulture. There's speed on the way. Let's see what kind of damage you can get done with that. We haven't started a sunken colony at the front. Which is pretty su surprising. Kind of shocking actually. That Soma hasn't figured that out yet. But with the cross map situation and a few links already out, I guess if you see that vulture, you can immediately build the sunken colony and maybe be okay. He's actually going to push back the first links with the Marines to slip the vultures out the side. This is a really nice play. Looks like we had a pause, but there goes the two vultures out along this angle of the map. Does he see the vultures here with the overlord? No. Vultures managing to slip by just barely outside of the vision range. Can he actually spot these? There they are. He sees them, but only moments before they reach the front. Luckily for him, he does have a couple or one sunken on the way, but unluckily for him, these two vultures are going to get inside the main base, and GG is called. This first game goes to Mong, but we've got a big series here, guys. Don't go away. We're jumping into game number two. All right, pretty straightforward victory there for Mong in game number one. Getting a nice easy win over Soma. I like the way that he pushed out with the Marines to uh, hide the fact that vultures were coming out. 
Nothing too fancy there, Adamong. He was going to have a, an expansion behind that. He had more vultures coming. He's going to slow down Soma a little bit too much. So Soma decides to tap out. And this series will continue on with Mong uh, in the bit of a lead. A nice position for him. It's not like there's anything on the line here aside from pride. But you know these guys are still going to try their best. Soma over here. Not going to opt for another early pool it seems. Unless he wants to build it here on 200. I don't think that's going to be the case. Over pool, not really the best in this matchup. It does come out sometimes. Okay, actually, he is going to go over pool. Well, that is interesting. It's uh, kind of a safety build. Maybe Soma not afraid of Mong, considering his record. I understand the decision to just want to get into uh, a nice, safe early game. Where you can't be harassed by, for example, an 8 racks. You're not going to take, you know, massive damage just because you open 12 hatchery. You can get some links out, you know, 4, 6 links out on the map. Make sure that you're not being cheesed. I don't even know if I would consider 8 racks cheese anymore. It's so standard in this matchup these days. But at least he's not going to take damage from that if it were coming. Uh, it does sacrifice a little bit of the early economy, though. You're just a step behind where you'd like to be. He will get two sets of lings and one drone. So not going up to that six ling count. Just four lings on the way here. Uh, gives him a, a lot less power, but it still allows him to survive if there was an eight racks on the way. Um, one thing this does doesn't do well against though is two racks in the middle of the map i've i've done this before and been absolutely trounced by an uh double eight or sorry double yeah what's it called bbs that's what i'm trying to say uh because the marines are just way too many and you've already spent all your larva you just can't build links fast enough to keep up with what the terran is doing so it's not like a nine pool where you'll have just so many more lings, you know. Uh, and the commitment is so much bigger. If you go over pool with four lings, you can beat an eight racks, but you can't beat BBS. That's what, um, that's from my experience anyway. We've got the vulture on the way once again. This time he didn't go for the add-on before getting that vulture out. He's actually pushing out with some marines. Seeing that there's not many lings uh, at the natural. I'm not actually sure where these links are. They actually they went down to the bottom right. Unfortunately, they're not going to be at home when these Marines arrive, which could be really painful. The Vulture's coming up here. He starts to build the bunker, but that SCV gets taken down. Will cancel. Sunken Colony on the way. He should probably walk by. Just going to put some damage on that Sunken. Um. Oh, great target here. Oh! Wait, what did that not attack? Hold up. That was strange. That vulture gets in. It's only got 20 health, but that's all it needs. It's going to get a lot of damage here. The ring goes down in the main base or in the natural, excuse me. Oh, he's so close. One more attack from the drones. It's really, really close here. Two kills so far. Wants to get some more, but eventually he's going to track this down and he does finish it off. That's a bit unfortunate for Mong. He really wanted to get more damage out of that than just three drones. He started Burrow, but I think he just canceled it. He just canceled that. That's uh, that's an interesting decision to make at this point in the game. You imagine that there's probably going to be a follow-up with Wraith, but how did he figure out that there that wasn't going to be the case? Um, I guess he saw the command center here and kind of figured it out. Sunken Colony, 139 HP, a lot more drones popping. Gonna get one hatchery just for safety's sake. Oh, these three vultures can come in and get a few kills. Three kills are gonna go down, but three kills for three vultures. I don't know if that's the best trade. I feel like it's not going to favor 
Mong, but then again, what are Vultures going to do out on the map against a bunch of Mitas that are about to pop out? Probably nothing. Maybe you could run by a little bit later after you get the speed, but this is a pretty nice wall. We've got the eggs here just above this sunken colony to block anything from running through that position. I don't think you can get through there with the Vulture. I'm pretty sure you can't. And so it's a nice setup for Soma. And I guess that Mong got what he could when he could out of those vultures. And now back at home, he's adding on turrets. He has a few Goliaths popping out. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Just going into a mech play. It is a much easier thing to pull off than Marine Medic, especially if you're not too strong in this matchup. And although we know that Mong is a very good player, like I said before, low win rate against ASL pros and absolutely Soma is an ASL pro he didn't uh, look like it in the first game I know what you're thinking like how did he just die so easily he just got bowled over by Mong in that game but those type of things can happen can absolutely happen you just kind of underestimate your opponent uh, maybe you're not fully uh, in the game you're not thinking about uh, the potential of a vulture run by and then the vulture run by gets in there's just nothing you can do we've only built two mutas so far which is a bit interesting he's really focusing on that drone production you can see 27 drones have been made and now five mutas are going to be on the way he really wanted to get this uh, saturation up before transitioning back into making a lot of units with this third base on the way up on the high ground um this is an excellent base to take. I might have actually preferred to take this one, though. Uh, the name of the game in this matchup against Mech is Sunken on High Ground. That is the best tool that you have. Oh my goodness. Okay. Bunch of barracks going up behind this. So this is not a full transition into Mech. We could see a tank come out. And a whole bunch of Marines are going to pop very suddenly. He's doing a good job of preventing Soma from seeing this, but Soma might just throw one Mutalisk in. If you throw one Mutalisk away, you can get a good view of what's coming, and then you can start to prevent this. He has a Hydro's Den on the way. Maybe he's kind of sussed this out. After seeing only like one or two, okay, I think he sees it now. Yeah, he sees the barracks. So that is huge. Good information here for Soma. He knows that this is going to be a marine medic follow-up and he should have lurkers in time where is that lurker upgrade it looks like he doesn't have the gas for it just yet but he should have it here in just a moment we will be able to make that transition happen coming in towards the natural has a few stabbing into the main as well but both denied for now you can see a scan going off in the main base he wants to check and see what uh, Soma has going on right now. Did he get stim already? I actually didn't see that in the production tab. Stim, of course, incredibly important. Range actually may be more important in the defensive game against these mutas that are flying in now. Going for the main base. He's controlling two separate groups of mutas right now. I'm going to dive right on top of these marines and wipe a lot of them out very quickly. No, he has plus one attack. And there's no plus one on these marines. So uh, with this number of muta, you can really fight a lot of these. Oh my goodness. Is he actually going to get the engineering bay? Oh, this is so big. Ooh, he gets that engineering bay. That is a massive setback for Mong. He is in quite a bit of trouble the way that this game is going. Soma is taking complete control. We've got a bunch of Goliaths on the map. Will he be able to get down? Maybe go down to the bottom left. He's scanning around for the bases. He's not able to find them right now. Quite a few more Marines out on the map. Okay, there is Stim. So that's very important. He's got Stim and range now. Diving in on top of these SCVs. He's finding this position that's really hard for the Marine Medic to get back to. The Goliaths are going to help out a lot with that anti-air damage, though. As the Mutas try to fly around, they're taking huge amounts of care on boosted shots. A lot of them are very close to going down, but Hydras are out now. And we've got this full sunken wall with Lurkers 
soon to be on the way. We don't have any lurkers finishing up just yet, but he can make these lurkers at any time. He's got one lurker egg on this ramp. The Marine over here likely won't be able to get any damage whatsoever. There's some drones over in this position, but they should be able to just... Oh, okay. That Marine can just slide right past. That's kind of hilarious. Got another Hydra over here. That picks off the Marine making its way down here, and he will be able to get that saturation going in the bottom left. Very important that he gets that done. Five lurkers on the way right now. A lot of Goliaths coming out, but Soma just going to dive immediately into the main base. He's going to force a trade out of Mong. Mong is going to lose a ton of SCVs. He's going to have to bail out. Wow, so many SCVs are going on. Look at that. 23? Oh my goodness. 20? Wait, what are these lurkers doing? Are you kidding me? We actually want to run the lurkers past? Is that for real? Maybe he wants to flank with those? It's a lot of Goliaths coming in. Goliaths here are going to do a, quite a bit of damage. Man. Bunch of mutas go down on the exit. But he definitely did enough damage. If he can just snipe this one tank... He's going to be in a massive advantage. Ooh. The lurkers get in the rally and a tank goes down. That is painful. One tank hitting these sunken colonies is just not enough. It's going to take so long to break through all this. And meanwhile, lurkers are going to be making. He's getting into hive. Really, all he needs to do is just dive on this tank. In the midst of all these marines and goliaths. It's probably going to cost a lot. It might be really costly to take that fight. But if he kills the tank, then there's no way he gets broken. Another tank going around the long way right now. These lurkers coming down the ramp. Are they going to go for the counterattack? They're going to join up with these mutilists, potentially. But no, get pushed back up onto that high ground. He picks off another, Dre uh, another Goliath. These two tanks are going to make their way over here, though. Goliaths are on the way back. They're going to push the Mutas out of the main base. This is where the tension is right now on the map. As the Mutas leave the main of the Terran, these tanks are getting closer and closer to the hatcheries. Some lurkers trying to come from behind. Great split by Mong, but he will back away. I thought he was going to take that fight and actually win it. However, he does back off. Setting up a bunker behind this. This is perfect for this flank of lurkers. It's really going to cut them down. Make it hard for the lurkers to do anything in this fight. He hasn't loaded up the bunker yet. He will load it up now. Running right on top of this. Not the greatest for Soma. All this is going to get taken down. One tank remains though. Can he keep that one tank alive? He needs another scan to deal with this one lurker. It's dealing quite a bit of damage. But I don't think he's got the scan. There we go. The tank goes down, but the lurker gets picked off as well. Loading up that bunker. Three more tanks arrive here at the natural. This is getting scary. Soma needs consume. He's almost got it done. He's actually built a bunch of creep colonies in the main. Maybe he was thinking about just giving up the natural. What was he thinking with these three creeps? I'm very confused about this. Giving up the natural and just playing... Oh, wow. And he's building two evolution chambers right there. I guess he thinks he can hold it now. Some Goliaths here are sorry. Some Goliaths going to push into these lurkers. Lurkers getting picked off pretty quickly. He needs another scan. He doesn't have it, I guess. M lacking scans is slowing down Mong just enough to where we're going to get a Dark Swarm. Finally at the front here. And consume an overlord start to push out so soma will hold but this was a lot of damage he really slowed him down and actually brought himself to a worker lead fourth base is going to come up instantly though for soma has a defiler and lurkers here so it's going to be very hard for mong to break through anywhere he's got plus one armor plus one attack is on the way now Quite a few of these lurkers are actually going to get picked off. Oh, he targets his own marine. That was beautiful play. Targeting his own marine with all of these tanks to kill the one lurker under Dark Swarm. You don't see that move very often. But it can be effective in some of these difficult scenarios. How did that... Wait, how did that die? I think that was because he targeted this one. 
And the splash actually killed this one over here. Dark Swarm Lurker. Gonna hold everything back over at the bottom left. Full transition into mech play from Mong right now. Gonna spread these tanks out. Continue to put on the pressure. Trying to scan and kill whatever he can. Getting another base on the way. Has the Zerg pretty well contained at the moment. Targeting down Lurkers with the tanks. Look at him targeting. Look at the target here. Finishing off those Lurkers, no problem. Very inefficient trade right there. Does manage to keep that one Lurker alive though at the front. Very important that he kept that uh, alive because these tanks could have moved much closer. Uh, had that one been picked off. Keeping the pressure on very well right now. Mong is playing a great game of mech. He'll probably lift off all these barracks pretty soon, I would imagine. Because that's not really going to be his strategy for the rest of this game. He's not getting upgrades or anything. Whereas plus one plus one is coming up for the melee of Soma. Gonna target down as many of these as he can. Pull back the tanks that are in range. Probably scan and attack this one to kill this one. I'm not sure if he can make that happen though. Little drop of vultures into this main base. Or did was that a run by? That must have been a run by. He actually kills the one defiler here in the main. He does get over here to deny some mining from this main base. Uh, in this in the bottom left. These vultures being annoying. They can actually kill larva, which is pretty impactful in this matchup. If you can just kill a couple of larva, it really becomes a pain in the ass for the Zerg player to deal with. It really lowers their production capabilities. Right now, it looks like he's not targeting that. Instead, targeting the hatchery. Dealing a lot of damage to these lurkers once again. And the lurkers run up. They're not even going to get a single kill on any of these tanks. Doing a great job now with plus one, plus one. <clears throat> no added upgrades on these lurkers, by the way. Just the armor. Looks like he will eventually clear out this last vulture. But so far, Mong is in complete control. 49, 52 workers now. With three bases, likely he'll get another base in the bottom right. It's very important that when you're playing this style that you immediately, as soon as you possibly can, get into a position where you have additional expansions, additional high grounds that you can set up tanks. That other quadrant of the map, he wants to get a hold of that. He's going to get this high ground over here as well. He could try to take this base, although it is pretty close to the natural of Soma. Soma has finally opened up a pathway onto the map. Which could threaten the bottom right if Mong's going to try and take that. Uh, are we going into Ultra? I haven't seen an Ultra's Cavern just yet. Because Soma's having a hard time droning up and just keeping the Dark Swarms uh, on both of these two locations. Making sure that nothing runs by and that no breakouts can occur. More scans going down. He's checking his options here for run buys with the vultures but he's not going to find anything for the moment just mines being laid all over the place and now this counterattack path has been cut off there was a moment there where soma had an opportunity to run through this direction and come out onto the map to deal some damage but that moment has passed finally going to clear out a couple of these tanks here over at the front of the base in the bottom left Opening up potentially another pathway, but there's just mines everywhere. Mong is doing a fantastic job of keeping his uh, vultures active, getting mines all over the place just to make it very hard. There's the queen transition. You'll love to see it. Lots of queens coming out, but he's not going for hydralisk upgrades. I thought he would go Hydra Queen, but it seems like he wants to eventually get into Ultra. Ultra Queen will be the answer here for Soma. Base in the bottom right has started. Pushing back these tanks over here. Are we going to have drops? No, just spreading out the overlords. Making sure that he can see uh, if any drops from Mong are coming in. Moving tanks forward now, Mong. Trying to uh, push in 
where he can. Another Dark Swarm goes down, but it's a little bit too little too late. That Dark Swarm not able to save the life of the Lurker. There's only like three Lurkers here. Four Lurkers defending all these tanks. But with the Dark Swarm, they can make it happen. Overlord's flying in, but they don't have anything to drop. And it looks like the uh, Goliaths are actually going to pick off two of those before they can even make it into the main to see what's going on. The supply differential is not that big. Just 20 supply differential is not insurmountable for a Zerg player at this point in the game. But it does show a bit of a lead right now for Mong. We've almost got that energy. Just 50 more seconds on some of these queens. This one's only about 25 more seconds, and he should be ready to start uh, utilizing that all-important broodling to begin to clear these efficiently. There's the Ultralist Cavern. He will be going into Ultralist. You can see how much gas he has banked up. We're going to see a massive transition into huge waves of Ultras. And of course, as always, that first wave of Ultras is going to be so important in how the rest of this game turns out. He hasn't begun that just yet. Still focusing on it holding with just Lurkers and Lings. Now finally going to start to spam out those spells. Let's see where he goes first with these. Lings coming out to start to clear this. Lings do not have uh, Adrenal yet. That's a little bit surprising. You can see there, the Lings really not attacking quickly at all. You can see it right there. Coming up to the front. Laying down some more smoke. Well, that orange smoke, just trying to get the lings on top of this stuff to get good trades, but it's not going the greatest here for Soman. He's actually starting to get pushed back pretty far. Finally going to set up with the uh, queens. He can start to spam these spells. Mong is pushing in. When are we going to see the ultra transition? He's just... What? Oh, wait. Broodling. He forgot Broodling. Oh, I've done this before. That's so bad. He even lost the geyser i missed that a little bit earlier but i guess one of these tanks could hit that geyser and eventually picked it off that is really frustrating right now for soma soma in a very bad spot he just lost some scourge to this barracks as well that sucks you hate to see it vessels coming out now this is when things get really scary is once the radiates start hitting uh radiates just on the way right now but once he starts popping radiates on all your defilers and your lurkers Makes it way harder to break through. Or to hold off, excuse me, the breakthrough. Another Dark Swarm should come down in a moment. Finally, we have Broodling done. So he can start to spam out these spells. Here we go. Huge amount of spells going to be cast uh, on a ton of tanks. Let's see what he can do. Oh, he's going for the EMP, potentially? EMP? Does he have EMP? He went EMP first. Oh, nice move there from Soma. Uh, nice from Mong as well, but it doesn't work out for him. D-Matrix on the vessel that was about to get hit. Here he comes. Okay, he's going to spam out these spells. Let's see how many tanks he can get. That's a good amount of tanks, honestly. That is a pretty good chunk of tanks, but there's still a lot here. And he's going to look for some irradiates, maybe some uh, EMP, although we don't know if he has that right now. Four Ultras are on the way. Finally, throwing down some Dark Swarms. Looks like these are both irradiated. And Mong could try to push in as soon as that dies. Yeah, that's gone now. Is Mong going to try and get in here? He has an opportunity to maybe make it happen. There's some more Lurkers popping through. And I think that opportunity is about to close. As soon as these Lurkers get under the Dark Swarm, he won't be able to break through any longer. He's done a great job of holding back Soma up until this point, but Soma's finally unleashed on the map. He's going to try and break through this. Great job getting another vessel. Pushing everything back once again. Moving through the bottom side of the map. He's finally getting Ultralisk uh, speed. He does not have plus 5 armor on the way, and plus 2 is already done. Plus 3 is about to finish as well. These Ultras are mincemeat to all of these tanks that are just going to shove them back, and now with tanks on this high ground, it's going to be extremely hard for someone to make any progress. There's another Broodling. All of these queens survive, so they will get a lot of value in this game. 
However, his ground army is just getting hardly any value at all. The tanks are trading so well with everything. Another couple of Scourge actually getting wasted into the barracks. He really needs to do something about that. Pretty frustrating to just keep losing those over and over again. I'm really shocked to see plus three attack on the way and no plus three armor right now. That is a little bit crazy to me. Here's that big swell of ultras that I was talking about earlier. They are finally out on the map. There aren't too many mines around here, so he should be able to get across uh, without you know taking a huge amount of damage. He's going to break into the center right, it looks like. That, uh, some vultures are coming down. They're going to try and trade with this, but he just runs. It's a good choice from Soma. Try to pick off as many SCVs as he can and maybe try to attack into the natural. This is so many tanks, though. Oh, my goodness. Mong just going to crush these ultras. And with the bottom right, I think Mong is completely fine with this. Since he's got that bottom right, he really doesn't need to worry about losing center right. Center left is now up and operational for Soma. Another wave of queens going to come out. Start to hit all of these tanks. Boom. Nice job with the uh, splitting there. That was a massive number of tanks that just went down. Really, really painful for Mong. He may end up losing 12. These tanks are going to go down. Ultras can clear all of this. He finally starts plus three armor. Really important stuff from Soma to get that armor going. Probably going to be able to break in here. These... Oh my god. These Goliaths are in such a good spot though. Well, that Ultra will finally get on top of everything. Pick off the last couple of Goliaths here. Oh, he just barely survives. Five kills on that Ultra Lisk. But Mong is going to go for a counter attack. He's going to try and maybe hit the center left, I guess. He's going to abandon this base over here. I would love to see this get uh, infested, but I'm not sure we're going to get that. SCV is being sent here at a unfortunate timing. He really needs to get those out of there. Moving down towards this bottom left. It's not well defended. Maybe he can get in here and deal some damage. Tanks set up in the middle of the map uh, are going to be taking fights with these Ultras. There's no uh, Defiler that I can see over in bottom left. A couple of Ultras making their way into the natural, but that's not going to go well. Bunch of Queens making their way down. Can he get the uh, Brittlings that he needs? He's getting so much value out of these Queens, man. Like, a lot of these have two or even three kills. Looks like most of them have two right now. Dark Swarm finally coming down with Lings on top of this. He will clear it. So this actually went very, very well for Soma. Still, it's a hard game with the bottom right-hand corner of the map being taken by Terran. Even if you clear this base and this base, still really, really tough to knock Terran out when they have two bases mining. You can just keep building mech and slowly building up into that insane tank count looking for some irate or not irradiate excuse me some emp to go down on these queens is what uh, mong really needs at this point he needs to push out with a big attack and then emp the queens at the same time science vessel being sent down here i'm not sure what that's all about tanks pushing in this is not what you're looking for as mong right now you don't want to be trading out small groups of tanks over and over again for small groups of ultra and ling you want to be getting more than that out of these uh, very expensive armies. Looks like he might get a big plague on this. No, just another Dark Swarm. Onto these tanks as bottom center gets cleared out. Oh, man. Radiate? Oh, my gosh. Scourge just sitting here right beside these two vessels. Kind of funny that we're not seeing those get killed. But there we go. He does take those both out. Pushing forward now. Even though there are Dark Swarms and some Lurkers underneath. Some tanks or some uh, Ultras coming up as well to try and clear these tanks. Vultures are making their way in here, though. Oh, man. He's getting right on top of all this. The Lings are coming down, though, with a couple of Ultras. Should be able to clear everything. Drones are going down, though, en masse. We've got 40 drones remaining, but it's quickly dropping. Ultras not going to engage with this. There we go. Finally does take that engagement. Looks like he will eventually be able to clear this out, but a very good position here just taken now by Mong. All just trying to make their way down to this bottom uh, right. And there's actually not as many tanks here as there were before. Maybe he can break that open. 
not able to get any steals on these command centers. Another round of Queen Broodlings comes out, and these are now at three kills apiece, almost all of them. That is some great value out of the Queens thus far this game. They really haven't lost, or not many of them have been killed or lost. Base up at the 12 o'clock. Might be mining here soon. But this is just on the edge of defeat. We're so close to losing this base at bottom left. And we have to hold on to that here as Soma. He's got to stay ahead in bases over the Terran player. Just to continue trading with them. This is a great trade though. Getting on top of some of these small groups of tanks like I was saying. Keeping the Terran supply low. 83 supply is very low. Oh and this tank down here. Or this Ultra down here. I'll have to picture and picture that. And I think that Ultra did an insane amount of damage. Probably it's got like 20 kills. That thing killed a bunch of tanks and a whole bunch of SCVs as well. We're down to just 29 SCVs. That did some serious work. Might have been the hero of this game. These Ultras making their way down here. Can they break through? Only one tank on high ground and a bunch of mines to try and stop this. Vultures are going to help out a lot. He will push this back. Ultra on high ground over here. That's not got a lot of HP, so it will be taken down. And the uh, drones over here is, are going to be taken out as well. How are we doing on gas? We've got 1,000 here. Depleted. De oh, this is not depleted yet. That's funny. Um, that's depleted. This still has 3,000. So he's got some gas to work with. Definitely not optimal, but he's got like two gases running right now. Um, this one's not fully mining, though, with just two workers on it. It's a little bit unfortunate. Five more queens on the way. But quite a few Goliaths coming out now to try and protect those. Oh, God. Pushing into the middle of the map. This might be the deciding fight right here. He's just going to let these tanks go down basically for free. If these were sitting in the natural, this attack from Soba probably wouldn't have done too much. But with the uh, positioning here from the tanks being so unfortunate, he's probably going to lose all of these. Sieging up now on this side of the bridge. Looks like he actually will take a better trade than I thought. Mind out now in the bottom left. Main and natural mind out for Soma as well. Just a bit of mining here and a bit of mining here. And that's all he's got left. Some good mining going on for... Mong right now, he's actually back up to 34 workers somehow. This base is going to be try are trying to take in the center right. Vulture's getting a good trade. And this game is getting a little bit crazy. Who's going to come out on top in this one? I believe it's going to be Soma. He's had a good advantage in terms of that supply for quite some time. But the mech cluster... For my RimWorld fans out there, Mech Cluster is strong, boys. We're going to need a lot of good Queen trades to eventually wear down this Terran. And we're going to need more bases as well. That's why I like to see this 6 o'clock base getting taken right now. See if he can hold that. Throwing down some Broodlings actually on Goliaths at the moment. That was an unfortunate one. That Goliath was already extremely low. Could have killed that with a... Uh, just a couple of Broodling hits, probably. The Broodlings actually scale with uh, attack upgrades for the... Uh, melee weapons of the Zerg. Wow, a ton of queens down here. Where else do we have queens? There's some queens over here. Sometimes it's very hard to find your queens... When games get this crazy. See, we've got a queen there with full energy. A queen here with full energy. He never got the queen upgrade. Gamete Mitosis. So, uh, not gaining as much energy uh, as you would like. Getting on top of these tanks is huge, though. Cutting off this base of mining is incredible for Soma right now. As he gets this base online with Sunkins on high ground, he's going to be feeling very, very good. Still 1,900... Uh, gas in the bank for Mong. He can continue to play in this game, but he is falling further and further behind. Another base going to go up at the 12 o'clock. And things are starting to run out eventually, right? We're getting low here in the bottom right-hand corner. Mong is fighting from a deficit. 85 supply only. 
He's scanning around, seeing what he can do. That's so many queens. If he gets one massive EMP on a big group of queens, that could be the comeback mechanic that he's looking for. He's moving up onto the high ground, trying to take center right. As long as he mines just a little bit less than the Zerg player, there's still hope for him. If the Zerg player starts mining, like way out mining him though, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Pushing down here towards the bottom side. There's the MP. He used two though. That's not what you're looking for. That was only four queens. Here's the big group. Oh, if he could get right now on this, an EMP, that would be insanity. But it looks like he's not going to get it. D-Matrix goes down. Brudling the counter to D-Matrix. It kills instantly. Totally ruins that. Uh, completely destroys that defensive spell. He will not be able to break up here. There's so many queens ready for the defense. So many broodlings are available. There's just no way you can push through this. I think that Mong is just about ready to leave this game. Uh, he just needs a little bit more of a push from Soma. Good job targeting down some of these queens before they can get their broodling off. One broodling does go down though, and that's enough. He's going to start to broodling all of these Goliaths as well now, and that is most likely going to spell the end here for Mong as he gets lower and lower. 83 supply once again to uh, not that much. 100 only. 104 total, uh, which is pretty low, honestly, on both sides. We've got some drones popping out here, and he's going to quickly take care of this Defiler, lay down some mines, and perhaps he can take out this base. 12 o'clock, if he gets rid of that, that could be huge. He is going to lose this uh, center right. But picking off this base is going to be massive. A bunch of queens heading up this direction. Does Mong see it? He sees it with this mine. Can he stop? Is there any way he can prevent these three tanks from going down? It looks like no. No Goliaths. No uh, EMP to stop that. Mong setting up another force here. Going to replenish the SCVs over at the center right once again. Not a lot of workers down here quite a lot of queens though and the emp is coming he's only got 92 energy he actually needs 100 to make that work ultra's gonna come down here probably just to get splattered this base has done but you can't transfer drones over to that location until you clear out those couple of vultures breaking in here so much i mean oh gosh Unfortunate, this vessel's gonna go down. He really needs to do like a, a, a big EMP. I've been saying it all game, but it's absolutely the thing that Soma needs. Or the thing that Mong needs, excuse me. Soma, just keep getting value out of these queens. Look at that, queen has five kills. That one too, that one too. So many of these queens have so much value. Like all of those are tanks. Maybe a couple of them are gonna be Goliaths, but they have just done so much this game. He should absolutely steal this. If Soma doesn't steal this, I don't even know what to say. Gotta get a queen over here, man. You got to. Do it for the boys. Looks like he's not going to send one over there. I am incredibly disappointed. We're running on empty here on both sides. Look at the minerals uh, over in the center left for Soma. He's just starting to get something over here. Mines are hitting right. We've got more energy here for the queens. He's still without that gamete mitosis. Really hurting him not having that upgrade this game. It's not a very expensive upgrade and it makes a big difference. A ton of queens coming forward right now. They're going to start to throw down those broodlings once again. Killing off a lot of these tanks. More of the tanks going to go down. He's even got like... He's having a hard time finding, I think, the queens with energy, but he's going to find enough energy to kill almost every single tank. Look at that. This last tank going to go down, and he's going to try and push up here with just Goliaths and Vultures because that's really all he can field at the moment. Very, very low on the gas now. Has some more gas up here, but he's 
Running low there as well. That one Ultralisk doing so much damage. It's actually going to force away once again the miners from these mineral patches. Although that's very low too. Wow. He kills all the drones here at 12 o'clock. Is it possible? Will Mong be able to win this? It's crazy to even think about with so much damage coming out of these queens. And Mong dropping way below 100 supply for a good portion of this game that he might actually win. He does it. He wins this game. Are you kidding me? Soma taps out. And Mong takes it away once again. Two games in a row here for Mong. That was a wacky game. Kind of crazy. Soma held on for so long at these two entrances. Mong managed to take most of the entire map. And Soma just could not trade well enough with the Queens to beat this mech player. Dude, Ultras are so bad versus mech. It's kind of insane. They just do not take trades against mines and vultures and goliaths and tanks they do so well against this unit and okay this is a bug right that's a bug he definitely had plus three armor he absolutely had plus three armor here i have to look that is a very strange bug i don't think i've ever seen that before actually where after the re or after the the replay ends that the armor drops by one yeah there it is plus three armor so yeah, this is, this is crazy, guys. He had so many queens. Look at all this. And we only landed one EMP, and he still managed to lose. I'm really not sure how Mong pulled this one off, but he did it. He just barely managed to win the very end of this game. It is wild to me. Even with, you know, Soma getting in and denying this base... Stopping this base from going down right at the end of this game. You can see he's crushing this. But I guess Soma realizes like he just doesn't have any money left over here. I, I feel like you can still stay in this though. As long as you have energy, you can just keep spamming out spells with the queens over and over again. And you should be able to... Uh, keep trading and maybe get another base up. Like look at him, he's hitting this... Once again here, right at the end. Kills so many tanks. What do we even have at the end of this game? I want to see it. What does Mong actually have? He's actually, He's got a pretty good amount of money right now, surprisingly. Making a ton of Goliaths. But he does not have much else. I wish we had a unit tab in Brood War. Just to see at the end of the game what he actually had. Maybe just getting frustrated. Look, he's still at even supply. At the end of this game. Where are all the rest of the queens? He's got so many. Look at that. He's still got seven queens over here with full energy. I really feel like he might have won this. Uh, with gamete mitosis. Just to save up a bit of that extra energy. That the queens were regenerating. And to give them a little bit more of a boost as they pop out. He even had Ultra down here. Two Ultras out on the field. He was denying this base in the center. Uh, right. Not allowing Mong to, to mine that. Coming down here. He could have maybe taken this base. I don't know, guys. This is crazy. As this game ends, what does Mong actually have? He's got... Actually, a good number of Goliaths. 12 Goliaths over here. And he's got how many here? Six over here. He's got no tanks. Not even a single tank remaining. And we've got a ton of queens ready. Man, this was a very close game. A really interesting one. Look at how little money is here. There's almost nothing left. Oh my goodness. This is kind of crazy, guys. Two more Ultras were on the way. He's got like... What is this? How many Queens is this? This is 12. 
18 queens. I think that's all of them. Two ultras on the field and two more. But four ultras, 18 queens. I don't know, guys. What do you think about this game? Do you think that Soma tapped out a little bit too early? Or you think this game was over? I really thought that Mong was going to get kicked out when he dropped below 80 supply. But he somehow manages to hang in there. Kind of a wild series of events. But we're going to jump into our next game. Whew, quite a slog there, game number two. We're jumping into this third game now. Mong here in the top right-hand corner. Soma in the bottom right. I don't think we want to repeat that one. As much as I enjoy watching Mech versus uh, Zerg, I think that that was such a slog. I doubt either player wants a repeat game. And yeah, look at this. He's going to switch it up. Mong going ahead, even in the same position that he was last game. Probably setting up for a bio build. <clears throat> that really tires you out, man. Seriously. Uh, I played quite a bit against Mech. And I think on either side, it's pretty taxing. Uh, even at my level. Um, about 1900. I mean, like, that is... That is a really taxing style to play. Running around, laying down mines everywhere. Setting up tanks. Going for EMPs, that type of thing. Dealing with counterattacks everywhere for the Terran side. And then spamming out lings. Like, trying to clear mines. Uh, trying to get... And manage all of your queens to get them to the right places where they need to be to get all of these... Broodlings off 40 minutes long game. You are exhausted after something like that. At least I am. Maybe these guys can handle it. But uh, that definitely takes it out of me. Maybe I'm just getting old. I think we all are. We've got a 12 hatch finally here for Soma. He's bit the bullet. Like, okay, I guess you're not going to 8 racks me. I might as well go for a 12 hatch finally. And he throws it out in game number three. He's not going to get punished for it either. Um, just some Marines rallying across as a command center comes up. Try and put some pressure on. Maybe force a dr little bit of a drone pull. Um, but nothing really major. It's just that on retro, it's so close to walk across the map with these Marines. How many can he force off the line? Well, not really anything. He's just going to head back with the Marine uh, immediately. Doesn't want to lose it, I guess. I thought he would come in here and at least force the drones to not mine for a moment. But here they are back at the mining. SCV almost gets picked off there. Oh, he does get that. Nice moose by Soma. And a four naked Marine group going to head across here. Can he see that? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Overlord vision range is good. He's going to see these four Marines moving uh, forward. He knows he needs at least six links to deal with this. And he does have those six links already. Even building another set just to make sure. Uh, with eight links, you just crush this attack easily. And especially with speed. And I think that Mong has messed up. Yeah, Mong is going to regret this. Ling's getting right in on top of this, and the speed is about to finish. So, unfortunately, speed doesn't finish before that. It, it's now done, but still cleaned up brilliantly here. And that gives a huge advantage to Soma. He's cleared that. He hasn't really made too many uh, more links than he needs. Oh, my God, and that's not tight. Ooh, Mong. Mong is going to feel this one. Uh, this is this is unfortunate. One more Marine pops out. He's going to try and micro that around. But we've almost got the Spire done. And this Marine's going to go down as well. Oh my god. This is so bad right now. This is so bad right now. Oh, this is actually a gap as well. That's funny. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's going on with this wall, honestly. This is a pretty bad wall from Mong. I think... Pretty much everybody knows that it's um, 
Supply Depot over the barracks that gives you the wall in. I wasn't even thinking about it too much when I looked at his wall, but yeah, most people will put their barracks here and then Supply Depot, Supply Depot. Um, up against this little corner right there will give you a full on wall. So um, I, I think there might be like, can you put barracks, Supply Depot, Supply Depot and get the full wall? There might be a tiny gap here. I can't remember on retro. It's been a lot, little while since I played, guys. I haven't been playing much recently. Still on vacation here. Going to be going camping in a couple of days. Um, so I'm trying to put together some more uh, videos to keep releasing so that you guys don't... Uh, uh, or so that make sure that you guys don't have anything or that you have something to watch. Excuse me. I was trying to do a double negative there, but it wasn't really making sense. We've got the meat is coming in now to the main and... Soma's going to be feeling so comfortable right now. He is on cloud nine. Um, he's in his lazy boy here as he micros these mutas. Just full recline. And as he comes in here and starts to deal that damage. He picks off a couple of marines. Hasn't even lost a mutalisk yet. Looking for some more SCV damage. You will find it here. Picking off a couple more SCVs. Always a good thing. Coming back through. Going to kill off a couple more marines on the exit. And only loses one muta. That is pretty much perfect for the first run through. And he's just going to pump a bunch of drones behind this rather than continuing to put on the pressure, knowing that Mong will probably overreact and build a lot of turrets. He is just going to switch into a big macro play. He's going to get a ton of drones over here to the bottom left. Uh, might even throw down a Hydralis den without any serious commitment to mutas. Mong may think that it's safe to move out, but there is going to be a big switch back into production now. Let's see if Mong is foolish enough to move out onto the map. He's gone into four racks play. He has a factory on the way. But he has just been slowed, slowed down so dramatically. He's only four workers ahead of the Zerg player. Here comes a scan. Let's see if he finds anything. He just sees the main and natural. He sees that it's a 2.5 hatchery and... That there are mutas back at home that are healing up. Here comes that next wave of mutas. We've only got five at the front. But these will be reinforced up to a grand total of 11. As he moves to transition here. Hydralisten on the way. We're going to have probably sunken. A couple of sunkens. I really like the... Uh, more recent play of one sunken here, like two sunken with a small split, a couple of lurkers stacked, and an overlord over top of it. It seems to do incredibly well against any Terran player who's like trying to uh, bust you in the earlier stages of the game. Now, coming into the main base, is going to go after these turrets, just diving straight onto three turrets. And this is going to force a response out of Mong, which is going to be to immediately head out on the map. And maybe go for a counterattack. Bunch of these mutas are being rallied forward. One overlord does get picked off. As the rallies coming are coming out here. But a lot of mutas are being made. And this group of bio is in a dangerous spot now. A lot more mutas and lings coming out. He finds it. Is it time to strike down this bio? I think that Mong needs to get back into the natural as soon as possible to reinforce uh, this army before he gets caught out and killed. Lurker aspect just about done. We have more turrets on the way, but these marines trying to trade with the mutas. So I'm doing a great job of kiting that. Making sure that the marines are not doing too much damage and Picking away at this defensive position. Two more barracks on the way is going to go right up to six. With vessel production uh, very close behind. We don't have a second eBay just yet. He just starts it. It's a little bit off time. Uh, we've already got the science facility done. And he doesn't have that plus two started yet. Plus one armor is on the way now for Soma. He dives in here once again, picking off a lot of Marines. This is some great control out of Soma. Pulling this area apart and getting in here, just causing a ruckus. 
Forcing Mong to draw a lot of stuff back and killing off a bunch of SCVs. You can see 45 to 35. 45 workers, pretty respectable on two bases for a Terran player, but he's going to come in and deal some more damage in just a moment. Pick off a few more SCVs here. Slow this down even further. Finally, that plus two is on the way. Coming in, sniping even more Marines. Dude, Soma's trading out so nicely in this game. I can't imagine Mong winning this. Even though Mong is a, a very good player, it's hard for me to imagine Soma throwing a lead uh, from this position. Look, he's 20 supply ahead right now. Lurkers are coming out. We will have sunken colonies and... Maybe even spores added on. When you're this far ahead, you kind of just want to make sure that you cover every option available. 46 workers now. He's really got to switch back into army production because there is going to be a moment when Mong has map control and there's a possibility that Soma could be broken. And if he gets broken, it doesn't matter how far ahead you are. If you just get... Uh, you know, you just don't quite have the defenses ready in time. And your Terran opponent busts through. No matter how far ahead you were initially, uh, you are going to end up losing that game. There's one Irradiate going down on a Lurker and a Muta. But with this number of Lurkers in the natural, you're not going to be able to bust through. Uh, is it time for Lotto Ships? That might be the correct course of action for our Terran player. Get some lotto ships out. He will be going for a third base immediately. There's the double lotto ship. He's looking for that big money in this game, but we've already got Scourge available in the bottom left. No Scourge here in the main just yet, but a good clutch of mutas to try and deal with anything that comes forward. Three lurkers here under an overlord. Great moves from Soman. Look at that. Perfect. Exactly what I'm talking about. Very hard to break through this. So I'm making a great choice here by uh, utilizing this strategy. He doesn't have a second sunken here, but I think the position is just good enough. He doesn't really need to worry about being broken. We've got Plague on the way. There's the Lotto ships heading out on the map. Um, one SCV. Looks like he's about to try and take the space, but a Ling on patrol should be able to shut that down. Lurker here running out to its death. Not sure where that was headed, but we should have... Wait, wait where's the... Ready? Uh, no, no, no plague. Oh, 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 oh. We got to deal with this. Um, The eraser trick going to do a lot of damage. All oh, these poor... Oh, okay. He does get rid of that. Wow, these are all so low. Drop in behind. This is going to kill so many drones. Oh, my God. Like, the whole drone line just disappeared there. More dropping going on in the bottom left main. Looks like these dropships may be able to get out, but the Marines will be sacrificial. However, can he break the front while the uh, Defiler is in the main? It's a great split from Mong, but I'm, I think he's running out of forces. There's the Dark Swarm. He will be forced back. Pretty decent attempt here from Mong. He's actually going to kill the Extractor. Lowering Soma down to just two gases for a little bit. Has he used too many resources, though, to make this happen? This could be a slight overextension. He's lost a lot of his Marines. I think he's done enough damage, though, to make this worth. The Lotto Ship's really paying off here for Mong, and we might still get a great game. Big Plague coming in from behind. One Defiler. I think that was sent through the Nidus, but it didn't end up working out. So Muta's going to come out. Start to pick off the Marines that have been plagued. And now he's going to go to work on these vessels as they try to run back. Marines do arrive and Lings and Mutas will be forced away. As Mong goes ahead and grabs 12 o'clock and this top left. See if he can hold all these bases while Soma tries to sneak out. Get some Lings on the map. Try to hit these. Looks like another big plague going to come down. Good Dodge. Good split there from Mong. Keeping a lot of that uh, out of the spell. 
Drones resaturating these bases. Going back up to 46. Quite the hiccup there though for Soma. I think that Mong has done a good enough job to bring himself into a, a playable position. But this is by no means a Mong advantage right now. 2-2 two, two is done. Plus one armor is there. Plus two armor is just about to finish. So we're going to be even on upgrades here in just a moment. Soma is working his way up towards that ultralist tech. And now has all four gases online despite the earlier hiccup. He is going to have that massive swell of ultras and links right as his plus two finishes to maybe make something happen. Here's speed for ultra about to finish. He should be able to break out. And maybe get out on the map. Try to take out this base. This base in the top left is also a fantastic target. Uh, one great thing we could see from Mong is put a medic here on the ramp with a floating building. Makes it very hard to break through with just pure Muta. Or with pure Ultra, excuse me. Ultra Ling has a hard time breaking through that. Defiler going to go down. Another Irradiate getting thrown out on these Mutas. Not the greatest trade for Mong, but he is slowly clearing out this area. Opening up a position. Maybe he can come in with the drops. Here he comes. Those dropships from earlier are going to make a reappearance now. Oh, he gets the dropship with far more units in it and manages to pick it off. Will he reload with a bunch of fire bats trying to get in here? He will. This seems like it's not going to work for Mong. I mean, he will get in here and get a bunch of drones, surprisingly. But the Ultras should be able to deal with this. Oh, yeah. He's going to get that dropship as well. That's a little bit frustrating. These Marines are going to go down. Big plague on the army as well. Great move there from Soma. That's going to deal so much damage. He's going to get a couple of vessels there as well. I think he's done a fantastic job clean cleaning this up. And this may be the death, the death knell here of Mong with all those... Plagued vessels running on back home. And the supply dropping 20 below the Zerg. Zerg all over the map now with tons of Ultra Ling. And soon to be Defilers heading out here too. Might even want to pull the Lurkers out. Start to send them around the map. Because if you get a Lurker under Dark Swarm. It just can't be killed. You need a bunch of Fire Bats. That's so many bunkers on this high ground. It's hilarious. This base is definitely dead. But, uh, wow, that is that is a lot of lings. My goodness, that is so many lings. I'm going to come in towards the natural now. You, you can't actually take a good trade with just pure ling here. We've got some battle cruisers out on the map now. Starting to hit in different locations. He's getting you Mato cannon as well. I don't think these four bunkers can hold. That is so many ultra ling. Um, yeah, these are going to go down really fast. So I think that Mong will lose these bases. And with that, most of his chance in this game will have run out. SCV is going to surround one of these bunkers. But I think he breaks through. That's so many ultra. Big drop here into the main base. One of these two uh, dropships will go down. And there's enough back at home. It looks like he should be able to hold that. One battle cruiser remains and Mong is just about to get tapped out. Soma is handling all of these drops with ease. We'll pick off that final dropship. And this base going down. Spells the end. Soma finally getting a win here over Mong. Excellent play on both sides though. From the deficit that Mong found himself in earlier. Uh, he could have just rolled over and tapped out. But he decided to play it. And see if he could make a comeback. It was a good attempt. Soma hangs on though. And it brings himself to a victory. Finally in this series. The final game of this series. We've got Mong in the bottom left hand corner. Soma in the top left. You can see that Mong. Not quite at the level of other strong Terran players. When it comes to bio control. Like Rush. Royal. Those players really have it down to a science. Mong. Much better at sticking to some fancy plays like uh, things like 1-1-1, uh, you know, quick vulture plays, 
maybe some mech, throw it in there now and then. He was very good at TVP, so... Uh, coincidentally, also quite strong with mech. It is what it is. Tanks and vultures are his thing. Now he's going to be opening with a barracks in the center. Uh, I think this is pretty good. I don't know how it's going to play out, but you know, we just saw Soma open, what, twice with uh, early pool and it didn't work out. So he opened 12 hatch and it worked. So good chance he's going to open 12 hatch again. Mong putting a, putting a gamble on it, thinking like, yeah, probably you might do that. I could see that being a thing. And he's going to eight racks in the middle of the map. This could catch Soma completely off guard. It'll all come down to the micro, of course, how many drones he pulls when he actually sees this coming. You know, he could send a drone out to the middle of the map right now and see the barracks before the first Marines even comes out. Those are all potential factors, but it's going to be tough. Let's see if he catches wind of this. He is not going to. He's sending that to the top right hand corner. Likely we'll see a bunker here, but not until that first Marine is on the way. Oh, he turns. He turns. Look at this. He turns. He sees it. He sees it. First Marine is spotted. Two shots on that and then run away. Very good play from Soma. Pulls three drones initially. How many more is he going to pull? I think he canceled the gas uh, geyser. Uh, just to uh, keep some of those minerals. And that's a very good choice here for Soma. Pulling all the drones. He's got what, eight drones here. And he's getting a great surround on a lot of this. One drone goes down thus far. One marine falls as well. He goes after the SCV. Three drones have fallen now. Or was that four? Pretty painful stuff. Oh, another one goes down. He had eight. Now he has four. So four total end up falling. Pretty decent for an eight racks out among. And he's going to go into a factory after this. So not only did we lose, you know, four drones to this attack. We are also going to have to build. Oh, and a fifth drone goes down as well. That's so bad. We're going to have to build a sunken colony as well. So this is already pretty rough for Soma. It's not impossible, but it is a hassle for him to try and come back in this game. Uh, if the vulture slips by, I would imagine he's just going to tap, but I think he'll have the sunken colony in time. Yeah, he will. So with the sunken colony coming up, barracks will be floated back home. Vulture going to head across the map. Try to slip in there. But he won't be able to deal any damage with it. Does he add on to this factory? No. Just putting out a second vulture. He could try to run by since he knows that there's no lings right now. Soma is desperately trying to make more drones. He can't really afford lings. He's going to go right into Hydroden, in fact. Because he thinks that there's a possibility. Well, with, when he sees a command center, he should know that there's no possibility. Oh! Vulture just going to walk right past. That is so bad. Is Soma going to tap out here? How many drones will he lose? Trying to chase this down. Oh my god. It's just the lack of lings on the ramp. is so painful. Hydras are going to start. He lost one drone so far. He gets the Vulture at least. But that's very annoying. He lost a bunch of mining time and a drone when he's already in this bad of a, sp of a spot. Four more lings. Five sets of lings. He's going to go all in with lings. This is an all-in ling, I think. Someone building so many speedlings right now. He's going to try and run out here and just kill these two vultures. If Mines finishes in time, uh, before he actually moves out, he's probably going to lose. But I think he should be able to run out here just before Mines is done and kill these two vultures. If he gets the two vulture kills then I believe Mong is just going to perish. Oh, very good reaction time there for Mong. He's going to get these moving, and he will start to get the flick shot going, picking off quite a few of the links and keeping both the vultures alive. That was critical. He needed to do that. Going to pull all the SCVs here to fight. He's got one vulture behind this. SCVs do take quite some time to kill. 
And the vultures massacre the lings. So as long as you got vultures behind that. Oh no. He actually pulled the SCVs way too far away. This is bad. He's pulling up to the ramp. SCVs are going to fight. As long as he doesn't lose too many SCVs, he's still going to be okay. I think that was not too bad. Yeah, that was not too bad. He needs to get mines out though. He has mine upgrade done, but he hasn't laid the mines yet. Gotta get these mines out on the map. Deal with the future rallies. He's gonna kill this one last Ling. Get the mines. Mine up, mine up. Where are they? Lings are gonna run back home. Drones are on the way and a spire starts. He hasn't even used this Hydroden for anything. I guess he was thinking there might be a, a Wraith coming, but there was no Wraith. Mine's in front. Speed is just about to finish. He's going to run by. Um, running by right before speed seems counterintuitive, but he's going to have to fight on the ramp anyway, regardless. So I guess it's fine. Killing off some of these lings. Ah, getting in the range of that sunken colony is not too good, but maybe he can make it up here. Oh, going to run by. There we go. He gets past. With two vultures with speed, he should be able to end this game. No hydras are forthcoming. Lings are trying to chase this down. Drones are trying to help them out. If he can kill this without losing too much. Oh, two more vultures run past. Mong is going to take this game. Beautifully done here by Mong. He manages to crack in. Get past the defenses here. Get these vultures inside and end this game. So we started the game with a vulture win. And we end it, or we started the series with a vulture win, and we end the series with another vulture win. It wasn't as easy here for Mong. It felt like there were opportunities for someone to maybe hold that. I'm shocked that he didn't build any Hydralis. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's nice to wait for the Spire, but if we just had a couple of Hydralis at the ramp, we could have prevented this uh, quick loss from happening and it's pretty clear uh, that he was planning to run by there. That's why the lings were on the ramp and he was pulling the drones immediately uh, as soon as he saw the vultures coming but it just wasn't quick enough and the hydras were not there to to help deal with this and soma ends up tapping out um well that was a crazy series definitely enjoyed that one i love to see mong play especially mech it's a lot of fun to watch mech versus uh zerg we had one really nice game in the series that 40 minute game on retro was pretty fun. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next.